the LSD effect in DaVinci Resolve. It's very trippy. Let me show you how to do it. Time for the LSD effect. I've got a clip right here and I thought it was suitable because here's a woman sitting, wandering, and it looks like she's having a bad trip. So I figured this one was a good one for the LSD effect. So once you've imported the clip, hit the right mouse button, go to new fusion clip that turns it into a fusion composition and that's what we need. So let's go to the fusion tab. Let's drag these one out. And the first thing I want to do is add a merge node. And you can do it by using these ones, but right now I'm going to hit shift spacebar, select merge, add, and now we've got a merge node in between. Now deselect it by clicking outside of it and then hit shift spacebar again and add in a drip node. Once you've done that, add the median to the drip node and drip node, and this is important, to this green dot, the merge foreground. Now let's change some settings from this drip node. I want to change the amplitude and I want to change the frequency. I'm going to put the amplitude on 0 0.35. I'm going to change the frequency to let's say 1.45. Don't ask me why. And with these two settings we can move on to the next thing which is we need to right click on this face then go to modify with and hit anim curves. That will open up this modifiers menu and if we open it up We've got a couple of options that we can change. And in this case, the scale needs to be changed to around three. So let's use 2.8. And then that's all you need to do for the drip node. Now with the drip node selected, we need to add another one, which is the flicker addition. Add it, make sure you've selected the drip node so that it's being placed in between. And with the flicker addition selected, you see all these options in the range needs to be changed to around 0. Point, let's say 44 and the smoothness to let's say one and then let's change the speed of this as well and for this tutorial i'm going to choose around 0. 0.18 because i've fiddled around with the settings and i thought this looked best and don't forget you can uncheck any of these boxes but for this tutorial Let's go with the Flickr B channel, which is the blue channel, and let's deselect it. Now let's change the randomness scale as well to a higher number. And then once we're done with the Flickr addition, there's one more node we need to add, which is the glow node, the regular one, this one. So let's add it. And then we need to change the shine threshold to 0 0.36. And I want to change the spread as well. And in this case, I want it to be put on 0 0.9. We're going to change the brightness by using the gain one and that will brighten or darken everything up. But I'm just going to put it a little bit above the standard value, which is around 0 0.63. Now with the merge node selected, now we're going to use this bar right here because we're going to use this ellipse and that will create this little round thing, which is basically a mask. And I don't want it to be like this. I want to invert it because I want to make the subject the center of attention. And I'm going to soften it out as well to make it look the best way possible. There you go. Not all the way, but just a little bit back. And we can change the border width as well. So in this case, I'm going to increase it just a tiny, tiny bit so that we've got a nice soft edge over here and then the subject in the middle. Now let's go back to the edit tab. And this needs to render because this is pretty heavy on your system. So let this render for a minute and let's see how this looks. So I'm going to click P to have a full screen and let's play it. It already looks good, but I want to add something special to it because right now the emphasis isn't really on the face, even though it seems like it. But in this case, we're going back to the start. We're going to make a keyframe on the zoom and the position. Then we're going to the end of the clip and we're going to zoom in and make sure that we position the face in the middle. And then if we go back and let it render out again, I can then show you the final result. So P again for full screen and let's play it. This is how it looks. And it looks like she's having a bad trip. She had too much acid. And I think this is a great way to achieve this effect in DaVinci Resolve. And that's it. If you want to learn more about DaVinci Resolve, please click that playlist right there. For now, my name is Rick Richen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Doei!